River rats. I have shad, which means I have bait, which means I could possibly catch dinner. I'm also underneath this big bridge thingy. But uh, there's rapids and such, and catfish like rapids, and other fish like rapids, and I kind of like all of them. So let's go. One thing, one nice thing about catfish, and you don't need much, I managed to bring a lot, but most of it's filming stuff, so that makes me feel better about it. Anyway, I got my shaddies. Keep them in the cooler, because it's important to keep them cool. So there's that. We do have to traverse some rapids and such. Just another day. Water's getting a little bit more color to it. Not a bad thing. There's a little stuff swimming in here. Huh, I wonder what they are. Shad? I'm gonna throw a swimmy around at some point in time, but let's try to secure some catfish first. Oh yeah, looks juicy at least. See if it is. Yeah, this spot just stream, screams catfish. Hopefully, uh, not hearing things. <laughs> Get it? I'll try to quit. No promises. There are some nice cats in here. We have her drift about. Oh, I better set her deeper than that. It looks like it might be deeper than that. This is the type of stuff they move to in the evenings. Got her set like three or four feet. It's not that deep. There we go. There's one there, it won't take very long because the only reason he's there is to eat something. So I got that going for us. The water's rising too. So that's not gonna hurt us. Is that a fish? Yep. There he is. <laughs> that didn't take very long. That is an eater cat, if I ever saw one. So I guess I should probably eat him. <laughs> that is exactly what I was looking for. In about the same amount of time I was hoping for, I'm gonna put him on a stringer and hopefully add friends. All right, bud, you can hang out there. Like I said, hopefully be adding friends for you to hang out with shortly. I uh, probably should clean off my nasty shad hands. Otherwise they become pasty. Any more there? Maybe even be a little bigger. That one was tuned up though. He didn't nibble really. It just started going. If there isn't any more here, we have other options. Kind of just caught on that seam. I kind of prefer to drift a bobber, given the choice. Oh, nibbed. And there he goes. Maybe. And he let go of it. And he's back. <laughs> and I'm not sure what's happening. It's amazing how quick they can find a bait. Oh, there he's off to the, not the races. I like the ones that just yank it down. It's just like you blink and it's gone. Yeah, the no doubters are my favorite. Well, nope. oh, I thought that was it. I even stepped back to really tee him up. First fish that bit was definitely the most aggressive, which is not out of the norm. Might be trying a different spot here in a sec. All right, one more chance over here. Just looks too interesting not to drift a bait around in it. Time to move. Slightly. Not taking much. Just my shads. Pretty blessed to have pretty places to fish like this. Better yet, they even have a few fish living in them. This looks prime here too. Putting a fresh chunk of cut bait on can really make a difference. Split it with my fingers like a Neanderthal. Or is it Neanderthal? I don't know. Try a little deeper. I don't know if it is actually. It is not deeper. It appears to be quite the opposite, actually. Well, I'll try it at that depth first. 
Now we're actually drifting a bobber. Anything that hits it in there is probably going to smoke it, unless they don't. It's nice standing in the water though. I don't have to, but it feels, it, it's just nice. Well, that might be a fish, or maybe not. Really thought I would have got clobbered right there, like instantly. Try drifting her through there a little deeper. That's only like two feet, or two and a half, maybe. Standing up, maybe that's it, I just wasn't deep enough. It does make a difference lots of times. We're gonna see if it matters here, but. Well, Minner's getting eight right behind me. Mornings and evenings are usually my favorite time to do this. This is not gangbusters yet though. Lots of times you can stack them doing this. Probably should have brought a bob bottom rod, but I like catching them on the bottom. And I was running low on time. Oh, he hit it and quit it. He might have came back again. He might be running right at me. Oh yeah, he, he is. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> he might uh, be fitting in with his buddy. Not even. He's not quite big enough to keep by my standards. Could do the old pan fry on him, but I like filleting them, making nugs. Try her a little deeper yet. She gonna stand up? Mm, not quite. As long as she keeps drifting on the bottom, it's fine by me. Oh, he's running at me again. Oh, I lifted it right out of his mouth. Whoops. I think he was similar in size to our last bud. Put a fresh chunk of bait on, if I even have any bait on here. Might be fishing for free. Oh, I was. Burning precious time. Okay, get out there and make me proud. Well, I got him, I think. Is he going to be edible size? Maybe. He is not by a lot. Hey, he'll work. Get over here. Even bigger than the first one. Not by a lot. But he'll fit in. One more. Then it's mission success walleye time except this is not a great time of year to catch walleyes but i'm gonna try anyway give this five more minutes here and if we don't get one we will be heading up to where we started i like it when they hit it in the when it's moving in that water usually they tend to hit it a little harder if they have any size whatsoever there's something bigger that moved there probably carl carl the carp I know it's hard to believe, but this river has substantially larger channel cats than that somewhere. Water drops, it's like, where do they go? I have a few ideas, but I'm not there. Come on, four pounder. I don't feel like that's asking too much. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, there he goes. Is he still going? Nope. Yeah, he is. Maybe not. <sighs> Playing with the dinks, but the dinks taste good. So we have that going for us. He doesn't have, quite have the gusto, I don't think. That one does. Little fella? Little fella. Impressed he even got in his mouth. 
you will not quite get the job done, dude. Yep, tell me about it. All right, try this again. Oh. Oh, thought that was the one. I just yanked it under. The water's actually rising. I was hoping that would be the ticket. Appears not to be. I think I, you well, know, I had a bite. Whiff. All right, we've hooked a little bit better one, I think. I mean, it's bigger, whatever it is. Um, not so sure it's a cat. Um, it's a cat, never mind. Who am I kidding? Just is acting funny. Acting like dinner is what you are. That's about perfect eating size. All right, we have completed. Oop, don't get away. Our objective for dinner. Now I'm time to make a few casts for Walter. Well, first cast with the uh, swimmy at night. Didn't really expect you. Gave her one lift, thud. There he was. So I'll add you to the party too. <laughs> Thought you were for sure a walleye. But that's okay. Bet I don't catch another one. <laughs> Hope I'm wrong, but so it plays out so many times. Good old drastics, drastic plastics paddle tail, three incher, the do do it aller. Well. I think it's a little late for dinner, but that's going to make a pretty, pretty fine lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to get these guys cleaned and I'll, I'll see you then. Well, welcome to the kitchen. Woody's down here roaming the floor in anticipation of crumbs falling and he's probably in luck. Anyway, I'm going to keep it simple, throw a, just old cornmeal based breading uh, with a twist though. Got some breadcrumbs. Whisker Seeker recommends that you soak your fish in milk. I've never been one to follow the directions too closely, so I'm currently soaking mine in some Frank's Extra Hot, uh, courtesy of Mike and Lauren. So thank you very much for that. And let them sit in there and do their thing. And for this, I got the breadcrumbs in the baggie. Pardon the dirty dishes. Been busy editing video. I don't think I'm going to use the whole thing. It'll be close. But uh, I'll mix them about half and half in here just to uh, give it something a little different. Yeah, I bet I'm going to end up using more than that. But we'll see. We'll start with that and add more of the Whisker Seeker as we go. Now I'll wait for the oil to get hot, and then I'm going to bread these guys up. All right, let's see how these end up looking. If you really want to do it right, you let them marinate, like, <laughs> suggest you let that one marinate for about, I don't know, half hour to an hour, or even overnight. Josh says the best is to do it overnight. Never been able to wait that long. And by the time I get home from fishing, usually the last thing I want to do is food prep, especially after I've cleaned a bunch. Get what equates to about a skillet full in there. Pretty close. Those are ready. Now we just wait for the oil to get hot. I think it's time. I think that round's pretty well full. Those look like a little slice of heaven. That one's about perfect. First round complete. This is so nice. I've been craving fried fish forever. Ooh, those crisp, crisp 
it up pretty quick. Love how these crisped up real dark. Oh, I just like my fish crunchy. That's it. I'm going to try to delicately not douse these with a oh, little lemon, considering we already got the fire. It's hot enough where I heard one of them sizzle. <laughs> I shouldn't eat that one yet. All right, moment of truth. Just kidding, I already ate one. It was delicious. It's really good. Still good. Ooh, hot. Hot. It's still good. Mm. Oh, look. Look who's in scavenger mode right now. I might even be nice and give them a piece, but I hope you enjoyed the video. As much as I enjoy these fish, that'd be saying something if you did. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. For real, it means a ton. Like, can't even, I don't know. It's cliche to say words can't express how thankful I am, but no words that I know, but I don't know very many, so there's that. But thank you, for real. Hope you catch a giant.